All right, guys, uh, thanks for coming back for another one. We're going to try and make this short and sweet. Um, I know I had to do a little bit of research on this, so hopefully uh, you guys can save some time. Uh, if you guys don't already know, we just purchased a uh, 2016 Ford Escape. Uh, when we purchased it, they touted, oh, it's got the Sync 3, just like my 18F150 does. It has CarPlay, yada, yada, yada. Um, so I wanted to test it before I left the dealership just to make sure we did not get time to test it. Lo and behold, CarPlay didn't work. So some of the things um, that you guys have to know about this, if you have a uh, 2016 model uh, 2016 model vehicle uh, that is Sync 3 capable, uh, some things that you have to do that the dealer might not fully know is first you need to update the software. Um, so this specific vehicle uh, will go into uh, settings go into general and go into about sync so you're gonna see the sync version uh, I'm trying to connect to my phone right now uh, sync version right now you're gonna see a sync version 3 uh, when I first got the vehicle the sync version was like 1.2 and it has not been updated since uh, like beginning of 2016 so after about uh, four hours of messing with it I had to download the software plug it into a USB port uh, in here and let it run for almost four hours to get it from 1.2 to version 3.0 so uh, We go back and plug in my iPhone and still was not giving CarPlay uh, it was giving the option to uh, Get some of the apps on the phone, but it was not fully CarPlay All right, so uh, you can see my uh, iPhone 10 is plugged in right now and what it was doing, and you can see, you'll get an option for nav here. So you will get additional options. Uh, you will see apps. However, it won't give you CarPlay. It will give you, you know, Ford Pass because I have that on my phone from my F-150, Pandora, Waze. And that's it. That's all I have that is compatible with that. You click on navigation and it's only going to bring up Waze. Um, so what I found from that research is the other thing you have to have is an Apple CarPlay compatible USB hub. So the USB hub that came with the 2016 vehicles, um, I guess there's something different with the pinout maybe or uh, something different with the hub that allows a two-way communication or allows video. I don't know. I didn't do too much research on what the difference was, but nonetheless, there is a different USB hub. So um, after arguing with the dealership, telling them what's going on, them giving me a runaround, eventually the sales guy just said, look, I'll order you the hub. I'll order you what you need. Um, and then we'll get you in and we'll fix it. So um, they didn't have time to get me in quick enough and my wife's schedule kind of sucks. So I just went and picked up the USB hub. I said, look, I can swap it out really quick and uh, we'll just take care of it. You're off the hook now. So um, what we got is part number HC3Z-19A387-B. The B is for blue. You will get another part number. I think it's dash W for white. All that is is the um, LED color on this USB hub. So if you can see here, that is the USB hub. Uh, all I got to do is just pop out that hub and plug this new one in. It's going to look exactly the same. The only difference is going to be is that when I go into apps, it's going to bring up CarPlay and it's going to allow me to do my thing. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to POV view quick. I'm going to pop that out, throw the other one in and see how it works out. All right, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing in here. There's not a ton of light. Um, I just try to pry out at this part of the USB hub, the inner part, and that is not where you want to pry. You actually want to pry in this outside lip here. And basically that just pops out the USB hub like that. So this is essentially what you get. Um, from the back here, there should be some snaps, which I cannot see because it is plugged in. Um, all right, so we're going to snap out the plugs in the hub first. And these are just pressure fit. All right, so once that is out, uh, we got some pressure fit snaps there. I guess it's going to push out. So you push that in on each side and then you push from the back and then it snaps out like that. 
So you can see, if you can see, old part number is GC3T-14F014. Uh, dash BB. So we're going to put that on the side, open up this other unit, and just swap it in. Again, side by side, it should look exactly the same. Only part, only difference is part numbers. So we're going to snap back in from the front, and this should only go one way. So you are going to see, okay tops of it are angled back of it is angled snap in like that and then you're going to pop your plugs back in it's a little tight working in here all right snap that usb hub back in doesn't fit as snug as I thought it would. Alright, nonetheless. So, now is the test of uh, truth here. Alright, so we're going to plug the iPhone back in to any one of the USB ports. And, boom! Look, we got CarPlay. So, some services, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's fine. That's just enabling CarPlay. Um, yeah, we're not responsible if you crash your car because you're an idiot, and we will unlock your phone to start CarPlay, and you can see we have whatever shitty song that came up on my iPhone, but look, we have CarPlay. Look, you have Apple Maps. Awesome. Music. Text messages. Siri, yada, yada, yada. So um, all that that needed was just that simple piece. Um, at the dealer, I want to say they get, you know, 60 or 80 bucks, some shit like that for those. You can get them off of eBay and Amazon for, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks, something like that. Depends on how, um, how good you are at doing research. So again, guys, don't be like me. Don't go crazy trying to figure out why your CarPlay isn't working if you just got to use 2016 vehicle. Check your firmware version of your sync. Make sure it's updated 3.0. And then if it's still not working, buy that part number that I showed you guys earlier. Get that USB hub. You can see it took all of 30 seconds to pop out that USB hub, plug it in, bing, bang, boom, done. If that does not work for any reason, that means uh, possibly that you did not enable CarPlay on your phone. Um, so if... Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, um, if you didn't play, enable CarPlay on your phone, you go into settings, and uh, I think it's under general, and CarPlay. And then uh, if you don't already have this enabled because you have another vehicle or something, you would just have to enable CarPlay in there. Um, and then there's options to enable CarPlay uh, while your phone is locked, etc. It's pretty clear. It's going to pop up on the screen and tell you. But again, guys, this is CarPlay. It's a real simple fix. So if your dealers even you run around, they don't know what to do. Um, just order the part or see if you can get them to order the part like I did and just uh, get her done. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. If, uh, if you like it, uh, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, I am going to be doing a review on the Escape soon. Um, as you guys know, I got a Velo I had a Turbo Veloster, absolutely hated it. Got rid of the Veloster, got the Escape, um, and so far we are liking it. So uh, stay tuned for a uh, review on the Escape. I'll tell you guys what I do like about it, some things I may not like about it. And uh, guys, remember, uh, give you a thumbs up and a like, and thanks for the support.